Tenatato Katoa, good evening. Nationals promising to get tough on gangs, but their plans are already being met with scepticism. National Party leader Christopher Luxon is proposing to ban patches in public and police would be given the powers to prevent gang members from associating with each other. The crackdown comes after three separate violent incidents in Auckland overnight. Adam Hollingworth has more. Christopher Luxon has the National Party faithful fired up. So I have a message for all get the gangs threatening New Zealanders. My government will not stand for it. And I have a message for the police. My government will back you. We're going to give you more tools to tackle gangs. And I have a message for law-abiding New Zealanders. My government will be on your side. Luxon's messages come after three separate reports of gunshots in Auckland overnight. The first in Doon Place in West Auckland. Then an armed offender squad call out at Mangari Bridge after gunshots were heard. Then shots were fired at a house on Ashmore Place in Favona, South Auckland. Police have yet to link any of these incidents to gangs, but Luxon's speech comes against the backdrop of growing gang numbers. Gangs are recruiting much faster than police. And as gang membership has exploded, it's unsurprising that we've seen an escalation in crime, including public intimidation and shootings. Here's National's four-pronged approach. Ban gang patches and insignia in public. Stop gang members gathering in public. Stop gang offenders associating with each other. And stop them accessing guns. If any of that sounds familiar, you'd be right. Michael Laws tried banning gang patches in Whanganui more than a decade ago, but it didn't conform with the Bill of Rights. You might as well ban hijabs or um, wearing funny hats or something because people will adopt other uh, subtle means. We tried this with the patch prohibition thing, if you recall. Um, we've tried um, trying to stop people assembling. We have a thing called the Bill of Rights. There are rights and responsibilities to being a citizen of New Zealand. And, uh, you know, these gang members expect the rights but don't hold up the responsibility side of that. National says police are tired of working with one hand behind their back. And the Police Association says there's merit to much of what they're proposing, especially the move to ban gang insignia, which are a walking recruitment poster. OK, Adam, what's the police minister saying? Well, uh, Tom, uh, Police Minister Porto Williams wouldn't appear on camera, but she did release a statement saying there are two major operations currently underway against gangs that have led to more than a 1,000 arrests and more than a 1,000 gun seizures. She's asked police also directly for proposed law changes to effectively tackle gang crime. As for National's policy, she says it's more about being seen to be tough on crime rather than effective. Adam Hollingworth, thank you.